Hello and welcome, this is Hless John. This episode I'll be talking about pseudocode. What is pseudocode? Pseudocode is basically an algorithm, a series of instructions, a sequence of steps that when you follow the steps, you, it results in some type of an output. In our situation, we're going to be writing code or programs. Uh, we're going to use pseudocode to organize and solve the problem of how to create a program that we want. It's not really used to completely write out the code. It's more useful for organizing and finding out what you want to do with the program, not actually how you want to do it. Uh, to practice, let me put together a pseudocode project. Let's say I want to have a user input two separate numbers and I want to add those numbers together and tell the user the results showing my work. The way I would do this is start by writing down my inputs and my outputs. I'm going to want to put input two numbers. I'm going to want to ask the user to input those numbers. Uh, then I'm going to want to do the math. Uh, then I'm going to want to show my work and the answer. Uh, that's three outputs. So I'm going to have two inputs and three outputs. Uh, that's a basic pseudocode. It can be as elaborate as you want it to be. Um, I mean, it really is kind of up to you. I use these because it helps me to organize and to think through a project before I actually get into coding. When I first learned how to do coding, they didn't teach me pseudocode. My professor never showed me anything about the pseudocode. He just plopped all the stuff in our labs and said, go ahead and do it. And so we weren't taught how to handle pseudocode, how to organize and how to develop an idea and then write it. So that's why I'm adding this to the tutorial. What I often do is after I do the basic outline, the inputs and the outputs, I'll go back in and create a sort of a to-do checklist of things I will need, know I will need. I'm going to need to input two numbers, so I'm going to need to import the scanner class. Uh, I'm going to need to print to the screen two requests for numbers and then collect them. Uh, that tells me I will need the name of two numbers, so let's say number one and number two are going to be our, our variables for that. I will also have to do the math, and for this I'm going to add another variable, and I will call that variable answer. Then I will print out the math problem and the answer. This makes the writing the actual program a lot easier and much more organized. So let's go write it now. First I'm going to add my comments, uh, then class name and the main. I'm going to call this my answer, and then I'm just going to go down through my checklist and make sure I have everything I need. What I need for input is the import statement and the new scanner object line. I'm going to have to ask for the numbers, so let's add those lines. And I will need to add the line to collect those numbers, although I need the variables in place to do this effectively. Then the math needs to be done and assigned to the variable answer. Then finally, the answer needs to be printed to the screen in a readable format. Then I compile it and run to see if it works. This is just a quick tutorial on pseudocode. There's not going to be any homework on my website. I just wanted to show this to you and provide you with some additional Im information. And if you look down below, you'll see more links on pseudocode if you're interested in finding out more. Uh, thank you for joining me. Hope this has been helpful and I will see you around.